Well, hello and welcome. Today we're at Virginia State University's Randolph Farm, and we're going to be talking about how to grow ginger in the home garden. We're here with Dr. Reza Rafi. He's a professor and extension specialist here at VSU. Reza, thank you for letting us come out here today. We oh, really sure. appreciate Great it. Great to have you with us, Chris. Now, I know among other things you've been growing ginger for a few years now, but you're doing something a little different this year. Yes, traditionally we grow our ginger in a high tunnel in the ground, but this year we said, well, what would happen if you take it outside and grow it outside under normal condition? And the result has been really interesting with the, in terms of the quality of the ginger that you're growing outside in the garden. So what does that mean for a home gardener? Could they grow something like Absolutely, that? Absolutely, positively, yes, because uh, it's, uh, we've grown it and it takes seven months to be able to grow it uh, okay. in the outside, and that's enough to be able to produce good quality uh, rhizomes. Down. What would they put in the ground to start growing this? Just a, seed, a piece of uh, seed, seed, a piece of rhizome, which we call a seed piece, okay. and then you can get that from your local supermarket. You want to make sure that that's a disease-free, fresh-looking piece of mature ginger, and you take that and you plant it, and then if you're lucky, that that doesn't have any uh, disease with it, and then you would be able to uh, produce the nice-looking ginger plants. When would somebody in most of the parts of Virginia put this in the ground? Probably mid, uh, I would say mid-April would be a good time. After the, uh, the last frost, that would be a good time to plant it. Raisa, is there anything special that a grower would need to think about? Yeah, growing ginger outside, you need to have uh, shade, to provide shade, because uh, ginger is a shade-loving plant, 30% shade. So we create a barrier or shade, line of shade behind the, the ginger, so it protects the ginger against the hot afternoon sun and during the summer. Just a tall uh, sweet corn? Tall sweet, uh, tall sweet corn would be would be great things. Uh, so you could probably take advantage of the sweet corn the crop itself. Oh, that's right. great. Uh, yes. Two crops. Two crops, yes. Let's go look at some of the ginger and how you uh, how you harvest it. Sure. Well, Razor, before we harvest one of these, I noticed you're in, ra in a raised bed situation. Does that, do you have to do that? No, you don't have to. But again, this year we didn't have the experience outside. We wanted to set it up somewhere that has a little bit of security in terms of the quality of the, of the, of the soil. And also, uh, ginger doesn't like too much water, too much rain, right. it definitely kills your plants. So we wanted to lift it up, protect against the, against the rain. How do you get this up? Do you just pull it up? Yeah, just, I just pull it up and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, there you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, this is actually a, a ginger plant. Uh, that was planted in here in, uh, in, uh, in actually in June. This were transplanted right. in June, and then you see the quality, the quality of the, of the seed. Really, at this stage, Chris, we call this baby ginger because it's not fully mature. It's immature, but it's immature. really nice material. Very nice material, and it does. Uh, it doesn't have much fiber, and it's very tasty. Actually, we have a research uh, done at VSU showing that the baby ginger has more antioxidant and more phenolic compound than the mature gingers, which is quite really interesting in terms of yeah. nutritional values of the ginger. Why don't we go clean this off and look at it a little bit sure. closer? Sure, absolutely. Right. Well, Reza, wow, this looks really great. So it's been cleaned up here. It looks really, really nice. Now, I see what you mean. That's just an immature ginger. Yes. Um, but you said it had a lot of health benefits. What do people do with this once they... They use it for a lot of cooking. Okay. Um, again, um, and then they use it as a smoothie. It's becoming very popular in soft drink. Okay. And then also, uh, obviously, the ginger candy is very, very, uh, it's a very popular snack. Good for a snack. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are using it. But definitely, it's one of the healthiest spices you can imagine, Chris. Oh, that's great. Well, this is so nice. I really like what you're doing. I'm glad that this now is something that maybe a home gardener can give a try to. Yes, absolutely. Well, thanks for letting us come out today. Really okay. appreciate it. Sure. Well, for more information about growing ginger in the home garden, contact your local county extension office and talk to a master gardener. For From the Ground Up, I'm Chris Mullins. We'll see you next time. From the Ground Up is presented with the generous advice and assistance of Virginia Cooperative Extension. Visit their website at ext.vt.edu.